Here we are with the Ecrige and now looking at the the feet and pointing out both skeletal and relevant uh, muscle and uh, fat pad or cartilage anatomy to help you along your journey here with uh, anatomy, uh, artistic anatomy, artists, anatomy for drawing, anatomy for artists, any one of those you, you choose. All right, so um, the only thing we can't show on the Ecrige now is the bottom of the foot. So you'll have to refer to your texts by Dr. Paul Roche and by uh, Robert Beverly Hill and also to the drawings that we've, we've done too as well with the bottom of the foot. And again, from the calcaneus bone here underneath to about the, uh, the end of the metatarsals at the base and beyond is where the flexor digitorum brevis is. And then underneath that is the ligament, the long plantar uh, ligament uh, as well. So let's get started, shall we? And we'll point out some relevant anatomy with now the, the feet. So if you'll remember from the lower leg, you'll see that the, the uh, fibularis longus and fibularis brevis come down in through here along the medial part of the fibula and they tendon out generally in through here and you can see these tendons running down and underneath. Now the brevis will go to the base of the tuberosity of the fifth right metatarsal and of course now the uh, longus will come up underneath and go over and around and underneath. Make sure we know that it's underneath. I got that wrong earlier. And underneath and back to the first base of the metatarsal now underneath there. So we have that. Now this long muscle here on the side uh, emanating and originating from the, the, the lateral part of the calcaneus bone over to the, uh, this area of the foot, the, the uh, proximal phalangeal area, that's the adductor digiti mini-me. Okay, the adductor digiti mini-me right in through here and it has a very thick pad-like kind of structure. Remember the tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal, this bulge area right in through, right in through here will come out. Fat pad here on the back of the calcaneus bone of the, of the, um, the foot here. We can turn this a little bit. We can start to see this even better. We have the Achilles now tendon of the soleus and gastrocnemius area as they come cascading down now onto the back of the calcaneus bone and through here. And of course, that's going to have that bursa sac underneath this tendon in through here to give it some help with friction, etc. Of course, we have the fat pad now in through here. So we'll turn that around and get that view underneath. We see a little bit of underneath, but we wouldn't see enough to really say yeah, beyond the fat pad here, right, and on the other side the fat pad of the heel here and also underneath uh, as well. Now as we go across here, turn around a little bit on the medial side, we can get in through here and we remember now uh, from the calcaneus bone, we have again the uh, Achilles tendon and now we have the abductor hallucis running across the form and giving the form a little bit of substantial uh, and meet here along the medial edge as this gradually falls down and into the instep of the foot. And then of course we have the fat pad underneath along that area. So uh, again, we have now the malleolus of the tibula right in through here. And of course we can keep coming across in the fibula here, right in through that, that strong ankle protrusion of the malleolus or the malleoli and we can see that their angle, I'll pull this back over, we can see that their angle is true. Now because it's tilted, <clears throat> we're going to find that it's still higher on the inside and lower again on the outside. Very important to denote. Now if we look at the feet here, <clears throat> the uh, this particular area we see a lot of the tendons now coming down throughout the foot and running down along the metatarsals, really over the cuneiform bones, right? Over the metatarsals and then over the phalanges to the end of the distal here. So remember this particular area here on the lateral side, moving over here and attaching 
to the cuneiform bones and then moving over slightly at a diagonal are the extensor digitorum brevis muscles, the three of them, and then the extensor digitorum, excuse me, the extensor hallucis, extensor hallucis brevis here, and then the tendon that goes on down. Now, the extensor digitorum longus, right, we can see here now, okay, coming down, and remember those tendons will come all the way out to the second, third, fourth, into the fifth. We see those uh, as well coming on down and over and on top of. So you have two sets of tendons, one go, one go longer. And it gives you that very striated kind of look. And you'll see this sometimes when drawing the feet of people who don't have a lot of extra subcutaneous fat along the top of the foot. Sometimes feet are puffy and sometimes they're, they're much, much stronger. Now the tibialis interior, right over and through here. And remember where that it gives us bulk right before the edge of the tibia, and then that tendon will go underneath and under here and through and back to the base of the, the metatarsal there. So let's turn that over a little bit so you can see more of that now coming through. So as we see it over here, a little bit different view of the foot without some of the tendons, tendons excuse me, showing through uh, more. So we see the malleoli here, the the, the uh, tibula and then the fibula, the malleoli of both of those. Notice again this very arch structure that it makes. It kind of bulks out here and then comes down and arches over in that C-clamp kind of shape. We have the extensor here, digitorum longus. We have the tibialis anterior. We have the extensor uh, digitorum brevis muscles in through here and we have less of the tendon. So it gives you the bulk of the muscle in the extensor halicis brevis so here coming down and tending out. Notice how the the great metatarsal area and through here ends and we get the first proximal phalange here, very large, very knuckled downward. You can get a boxy view again of those phalanges down coming in through here. Just remember that we have only two phalanges for the big toe and then three for the rest we have the proximal distal, then the proximal medial distal, proximal medial distal, proximal medial distal, proximal medial distal of the, the small toe as well. So if we come now inside this view of the foot in through here, we can see again the, the halysis in through here, the ab, abductor halysis muscle sitting in through here. And sub, subcutaneous fat pads, pads, excuse me, fat pads would sit in here and underneath the bottom as well. Coming around to the Achilles tendon, look how strong that is from the soleus gastrocnemius area over and underneath and you can see how that's just moved away or stripped away of anything else but what we, what we really need to know. And of course these are cuneiform bones in through here. Remember the first, second, and third or lateral, medial, intermedial and medial and then the navicular as well as the cuboid and then the talus, of course, and then the calcaneus bone to, to uh, give you the length uh, in, in the back as well. So we'll move this around so you can see this further. <clears throat> and that will pretty much do it for looking at the Ecrge. Um, again, once this series is totally finished, I'll have Ecrge photos for folks to study as well and to uh, draw from it. If you can get one on your own at some point in time, they're great to, uh, to draw from. This, this one is about 24 inches in height, maybe, maybe 30 inches in height. So it's, it's substantial enough, but a, a life size is, is even better as well. So again, fat pad you get, look at the bulk of that fat pad through here, right in through there, the fifth, tuberosity of the fifth, fat pad coming in through here, and the muscle underneath here is the adductor digiti minimi, fat pad. So I think we're there. And then of course this makes a little hollow in between the malleolus here, the tendon right, and then the tendon of the, which is the Achilles heel. So there you go, that's uh, the uh, grouping now of both, looking at both the feet in different views from the Hodon uh, Ecorge, and uh, we'll keep going in our lessons. See you next time. Bye-bye.